Hi again. Since we're using kettlebells a lot, I thought I'll give you three tips on using and working out with kettlebells at home. Number one, one kettlebell is usually enough. Try to stick to exercises and routines that involve only one kettlebell at a time. Having the weight distributed unevenly throughout the body, for example, holding it in one hand, not in both at the same time, helps utilize stabilization muscles. And it's also practical to own just one weight. It's cheaper and it takes up less space at home. Tip number two. Too light is usually better than too heavy. Kettlebells are great for activating the muscles in the body that you haven't used previously. So it's good to let your joints and other muscle groups adjust before progressing to heavier weights. Number three, rubber coated or iron cast kettlebell. A coated kettlebell usually makes more sense when you try to set it down directly on the floor, whether that's in your apartment or in your high dome. However, due to the coating, they usually have a slightly thicker grip, which makes some of the exercises, or most of them, more challenging. Also, please watch out where the coating is joined. In case of mine, it's right here on the handle, which may cause more than necessary blisters. My suggestion, therefore, is to use a cast iron kettlebell. And if you don't have a soft floor, just put anything on top of your own floor to protect it. Whether that's a yoga mat or a piece of lino or a carpet or even a piece of cardboard, it will be enough to prevent it from scratches.